Hey there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a constant contact newsletter that you have sent out and add it to a blog post so that it can send out to um, all of your blog subscribers and be posted on your website. So in this example, what I've done is I've got the URL to the constant contact uh, view the, to view the newsletter actually in my web browser. It'll be already in the newsletter. So when you send the newsletter out, you should have a link that you can view it in your browser. And if not, it'll be in the email itself. So you should be able to find it somewhere down in the bottom um, or look at the, yeah, you don't want to use the PDF. You need to use the one that is actually on your web browser. So once you get to this page, you're just going to right click over here and click show page source. And then come over here and hit Control A on your keyboard. You can always highlight it all with your mouse if you want, but Control A will select all, and then Control C will copy it, or you could just come here and click copy. But Control A, Control C is faster. Then log into your website and go to Posts and Add New. And then when you come to your post, you wanna make sure that you are on the text editor over here. And then just come in here and paste the actual code that you just copied. Now, when you're done with that, you're going to come over here and go to visual and you want to check it out. Now, just in case, see how I have some extra space up here. We don't want that space. You can just click right here. I just actually clicked right on the uh, top left edge and you can see it moved the cursor right over here on the left hand side. And I'm just going to backspace and delete all of this extra space. So there's no space. All right, if you mess it up, don't worry about it. Just go back to text and paste it all back in again. Then when you're done with that, you wanna come over here and you wanna add your categories and your tags for whatever um, you're gonna put this in. And then you can also add a featured image. For featured images, you could do a couple of different things. You can come here and take a screenshot of your um, screen and just grab that actual like image right here and capture it and use that. Or I like to use Canva. So Canva is a great tool, it's free, and you can come in here, create an account, and um, you just put blog graphic right here. I just click blog graphic. If you don't see it, just keep scrolling this way and that way till you do find it. But I will click blog graphic. And then it'll choose a bunch of different options over here. And I would do something like this. And and I'll delete that. And then I'll come over here to photos and home builder. And then I'll just grab this and drag it over into the background, okay, not. Usually it allows me to change this. Oh, it's locked, there we go. So let me unlock that and try it again. There you go. Ah, that's a little too light, so let's add that one. And if I wanna move it, I can move it over a little bit. And then if I wanna filter it, I can, actually I can Darken it up if I want. I want to adjust it. There we go. And then I can go like that, download it, make sure that it is a lower quality file so it doesn't slow your site down. Click download. And there it is. And then I come over here and add it to my featured image.
and set featured image. And then publish when you're ready. And that's it. I hope this has helped. If you have any questions, give us a call or shoot us an email over at support at yoursiteneedsme.com.